wanted to kind of show you what everybody's been able to do. I have Gracie behind me, I have little boy right here, and I got Nike hanging out. But um, I've also moved their beds from their little spots because it's a lot easier for me to show you what's going on with them. Um, but I wanted to be able to have you guys see their progress thus far. Also, they are on their leashes just in case for some reason they decide not to listen. I just use the leash to kind of get them to reinforce the idea of going to their particular spots and staying there. So what I'm going to do, Gracie, please, come on. So this is the perfect opportunity. No, come on, Gracie. Gracie, please. Good girl. Bailey, no, wrong place. Come on. Bailey, place. Good. Down. Good boy. I know. Gracie, down. Good girl. No. Down. Good. Nike, place. Good girl. Lay down. Nike. Good girl. So this is the starting of getting them used to the command, both place and down. No. Gracie. Hey. Down. Gracie. Down. Good. Basically, I'm using the leashes as a reinforcer that says that they're not allowed to pop up or get off of the object whenever they want. Basically, all of them kind of do it all together. This is a lot more close than they usually are, but in general, they have the, the concept of staying there. This is the best opportunity for you to be able to practice. No. Down. With them when you don't want them wandering around the house, making mistakes, doing things that you aren't aware of potentially having accidents and making sure that they get plenty of rest. This is when we're not actively training with them and they all just need to have their brains turn off and shut off so this way they can be ready for more training. But basically this is a place down command. Uh, uh, down. With a duration or a time of stay where they have a lot, where they're learning longer durations. I can even walk away still get them to stay in their spots without issue. They are watching me very closely, which is totally fine. But each time I can get further and I can get them to stay in their spots longer and longer. But as you can see, they're not having any real issues with staying on the spots. Gracie still has some issues with the idea of staying down. Uh-uh. Gracie, down. Good, good girl but everybody's just waiting for me to give them permission. And eventually, if I had this video a lot longer, they would be relaxing and shutting their eyes and taking some real rest time. But this is just to show you their progress. And I can also, at the same time, take the leashes off of them once I get them up there. But the idea of going up on their spots and staying there is still very new to them. But they are getting better and better with it. But guiding them on their objects, their places, is right now the key to making sure that they continue to understand that this is theirs. They're going to learn how to stay there for longer extended periods of time and eventually go there on their own um, in the future as we continue to progress. But now they've all done so very, very well. They are all going to get a physical treat as a reward. No. Down. Go ahead. And they are all going to get that, that release word that indicates that they're allowed to get up and they're allowed to get their treat. So, break. good girl, good girl. Bailey, break. Yay, good boy, good girl, Gracie. 